Yes, this time next week we'll be poring over that exit poll. But before then, we do have a lot of opinion polls suggesting what voters might be thinking. Up on the screen here you're going to see the BBC poll tracker. The dots on this are individual polls, the line is the average. And as you can see, this goes back to 2020. And for a lot of this initial period, the Conservatives in blue are ahead of Labour in red. There is a big change here. That's after the first reports of parties in Downing Street during the pandemic started to emerge. And you can see there's a big increase here, which is just after Liz Truss's mini budget. But let's focus in on the picture over the election campaign. Now, a health warning. Many of the people standing for Parliament, senior politicians are sceptical about these numbers. Polls can be wrong. But with that in mind, let's look at Labour. They've had a comfortable lead for some time, as you can see, about 20% up on the Conservatives, even with the dip that Labour have had since the start of the campaign, they're sitting at about 40%. There have been different predictions about what this gap could mean for a Labour majority, but the poll lead is consistent. The Conservatives have seen a fall in their support over the campaign too. The average at the end there, 20%, is now lower than it was after the mini budget. And they'll be worried about the line just below there. Nigel Farage's Reform Party gathering support in these polls. Although remember, the voting system means that this 16% doesn't necessarily mean a high number of seats. The Lib Dems are eyeing up a number of gains based on their support, 12% there. A lot of that concentrated, they think, in particular areas. And you can see the other yellow line there down the bottom, the SNP on 3%. But remember, that's Great Britain wide. So it doesn't really tell us what's going on in Scotland where the polls suggest a lot of seats are up for grabs. Now, to emphasise, we cannot be certain that this is right. We are cautious about polls, so are the politicians. But a lot of people will be keeping an eye on these numbers until next Thursday, 10pm, when the exit poll is published and then the results start to come through.